would like to briefly summarize the results of the DAPA-HF trial. We know that SGLT2 inhibitors can prevent the development of heart failure in patients with diabetes. We wanted to test whether SGLT2 inhibitors could be used as a treatment for heart failure and not just in patients with type 2 diabetes but in all patients with heart failure and reduced ejection fraction. So we randomized 4,744 patients to either placebo or to dapagliflozin, 10 milligrams once a day. We followed these patients for a median of 18.2 months. They were very well treated with conventional therapy. Our primary endpoint was a composite of a worsening heart failure event or cardiovascular death. This was reduced by 26% by dapagliflozin. That was a highly statistically significant benefit. And not only that, but both of those components of the primary endpoint, both worsening heart failure and cardiovascular death were each reduced significantly. A worsening heart failure event by 30%, cardiovascular death by 18%. We even saw a 17% reduction in all-cause mortality that was nominally statistically significant. We had some other endpoints, including symptoms and quality of life. These were also improved by dapagliflozin. And the most important finding of all was that these benefits were seen even in patients without diabetes. So what we've shown is that an SGLT2 inhibitor is a completely, completely novel way of treating heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, a drug that uh, gives additional benefit over and above all the other conventional treatments that we currently use.